Investigate my life, O God. Investigate my life, O God. Find out everything about me. Cross-examine and test me. Get a clear picture of what I'm about. See for yourself whether I've done anything wrong, and then guide me on the road to eternal life. Here's the questions that I, I invite you to ask as you investigate your life. Number one, am I a good example? Am, am I a good example? Jesus looks to the crowds and his disciples, Matthew 23, verses 1, 2, 3, then he says this, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees are the official interpreters of the law of Moses. He gives them some credit here. So he says to the people, practice and obey whatever they tell you, but don't follow their example, for they don't practice what they preach. You see, the Pharisees were, were influencers, but, but Jesus called them out. He says, Look, guys, you're not, you're not walking uh, the talk. You're, you're, you're not practicing what you're preaching. And, and uh, they had so, so many high expectations of, of those around them, but, but in the end, they gave themselves a pass. Is my journey of faith, by the way, this is not going to be the feel-good message of the year, just so you know. Second, is my journey of faith a burden or a blessing? Is it a burden or a blessing? Jesus says this about the Pharisees in verses 4 and 5. He says, instead of giving you God's law as food and drink by which you can banquet on God, these Pharisees, what do they do? They package it in bundles of rules. And he says to the people, it's loading you down like pack animals. They seem to take pleasure, these Pharisees. They seem to take pleasure in watching you stagger under these loads. Folks, that's not the way of, of living like Jesus. In fact, Jesus says, no, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. And, and, and so if you're bogged down with Christianity or, or religion, you're doing it wrong. Because it's not that way. Jesus came to set us free from the heavy load of the law. He says, the Bible says, for it is by grace that we have been saved through faith. It's not of ourselves. It is what? It is the gift of God so that none of us can boast. <laughs> Third, am I judgmental, exclusive, or proud? Look at these verses, verse 6 and 7. Jesus says this about the Pharisees. Everything they do is for show. On their arms they wear extra wide prayer boxes with scripture verses. I wish I had more time to talk about this, but essentially they wore their religion on their sleeves, literally. <laughs> And they wear robes with extra long tassels. And they love to sit at the head table at banquets and in the seats of honor in the synagogues. They love to recite, to, to receive respectful greetings as they walk in the marketplace and to be called rabbi. Hey, rabbi, 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 rabbi. <laughs> rabbi, you know what rabbi means? <laughs> rabbi means my great one. So can you imagine the esteem, the esteem, the ego that was fed when you're walking through the marketplace and someone shouts out to you, Rabbi, Rabbi. In other words, my great one. I've been trying to get Mary to call me Rabbi for many, many years now. <laughs> Fourth question. <laughs> Am I measuring my spirituality in superficial ways? Matthew 23, verses 23 and 24. You are careful, he says to these Pharisees, to tithe even the tiniest income from your herb gardens, but you ignore the more important aspects of the law, justice, mercy, and faith. Now, Jesus makes it clear you should tithe, <laughs> yes, but do not neglect the more important things. He calls them blind guides you strain 
your water so you won't accidentally swallow a gnat, but you swallow a camel. <laughs> you see, he's talking about legalism, and that's a trap we cannot fall into. Yes, there have been seasons in the church when we probably knew about more about what we didn't believe than what we did believe. It's One more question. Am I authentic? Am I the real deal? Or am I more interested in just looking good on the outside? God will not pour his Holy Spirit into an unclean vessel. Wow. Jesus looks straight through this perfectionist exterior of these Pharisees. And he saw on the inside greed, pride, ego, self-indulgence. And look at what he says to them in verses 25 and 26. What sorrow awaits you teachers of religious law and you Pharisees, hypocrites. <laughs> Even Jesus didn't like hypocrites. For you are so careful to clean the outside of the cup and the dish, but inside you are filthy, full of greed and self-indulgence. You blind Pharisee, first wash the inside of the cup and the dish, and then the outside will become clean too. So then what is the mark of a true believer? Jesus tells us in Matthew 21, verses 37 to 40, love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your God with all of your heart and with all of your soul and all of your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All of the law... <laughs> And the prophets, this entire book, the commandments, it's all summarized in those two words, those two commands. I ask you, do you receive God's word today? Amen. Amen.